the runaway guy. Multiplay the runaway. All builds for all runaway subclasses in the game. Let's not waste time and let's go. The runaway covers every position in the game. She's very unique in the game as she's a new addition to the Darkest Dungeon franchise and her main ability is Burn. Or better to say, she burns enemies from nearly every position. Aside from that, she's also a stealthy character and a very nimble one. Can be easily played from position 1 to position 4. One of the stronger characteristics for this hero is high movement. She moves like crazy, backwards and forward. The best quirk by far on a runaway would be breakthrough. Other than that, she profits mostly out of crit range damage, melee damage and, of course, dodge tokens. The first subclass for the runaway would be arsonist. Arsonist has a higher chance to burn enemies with her skills. In return, she deals less damage. There are multiple ways to play Arsonist, from position 1 to position 4. I'll show you my favorite way. This build is by far the strongest one on an Arsonist. You open up from position 2 and you apply Dragonfly on enemies. After that, you'll apply Controlled Burn and after that, you'll start bombarding with Firefly. Non-stop burn with all of these three skills. Once you fight some bigger enemy, you can always blind them and if some of the allies gets low on HP while bleeding, you can heal them up and remove bleeding. This build, I kinda like it the most in the entire game out of all subclasses. Arsonist that moves with Dragonfly. Of course, now if you wanna play like that and you wanna move non-stop with Dragonfly, you can open up Arsonist with position 1, then she goes back, you put up a Rensec, you go forward again, burn enemies with Rensec, you can also apply Control Burn, there is the option of a Searing Strike, and once she gets low, once you upgrade Run and Hide, she'll go into Stealth and heal up. This is the other way to play Arsonist. Now what is the most important upgrade for Arsonist? No matter what build you decide to play on an Arsonist, Dragonfly and Firefly are the things you want to upgrade first. After that, it should be Controlled Burn. The next one in line is a Survivor subclass, or better to say this is a Support Runaway. Support Runaway, we can play her from spot number 4 or spot number 3, your choice. And of course, depends on the team you want to play with. Now, how do we play Support Survivor Runaway? Very simple. We're gonna go with Heartlight. We're gonna go with Cauterize for additional healing. We're gonna go with a fire starter and apply on units that deal AoE damage so they can burn everyone. Run and hide once she gets in danger with stealth and healing. And of course, combo blind, extremely good on the support. Once upgraded, it makes enemies vulnerable. The first skill you want to upgrade on a survivor would be smoke screen and fire starter. After that, it's cauterize. The last in line would be orphan. Orphan can be literally played only on position 1 or position 4, so pay attention. If you go with position 1, then it's melee orphan. If you go with position 4, then it's ranged orphan. So how do we play orphan on position number 1? We play it with a fire starter that's gonna give us crit, and then we go into dragonfly or the other way around. Dragonfly into fire starter, into ransack or searing strike. I would recommend Rensec. If some of your characters get low, you can always heal them. The other orphan is on position number 4, and that would be Burning Orphan. Burning Orphan is very simple to play, all you need is a Firefly, Cauterize, Control Burn. If you get switched, then you're gonna use Control Burn, because you can't use it from position number 4. You need Fire Starter, and at the end, you can go with Blind. This would be Orphan on position number 4. Your main spell, main skill, would be Firefly, and that's the one you want to upgrade. The next one would be Firestarter. That would be it with a Runaway, a very specific class, unique class to play with. I would not recommend Runaway to newcomers though, she is quite complicated to play with, but once you master her, you'll find her extremely strong, definitely. S tier. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you on the next one. Thanks for watching.